Well, good morning and welcome to the fish locker on lockdown. <laughs> this is an unusual situation to be in because usually we'll be out on the boat or we'll be out on the shore. And right now the country unfortunately is on lockdown for COVID-19. Now, some of you may know, you may not know, but I have had to keep working through a lot of this. And um, our little boy, who you see in a lot of our videos, is, um, is considered as being immune system compromised. Because, because over the last four years, he has been having chemo for leukemia. He has had a very reduced immune system. So while I've had to keep working through all of this, I have had to be isolated from the rest of the family. The job that I was working on has finished, but that means I can't go home straight away. What I've had to do is, we're lucky, we're very lucky, a friend of ours has a holiday let down in Cornwall, which is where I am staying. And I have been here already for around about a week. Now, because I've been outside and because I've been... Um, mixing with people and I've been working across the country I have had to isolate myself for 14 days away from my family away from everybody else because it takes 14 days apparently for any symptoms to come out once I've done 14 days of self-isolation here then I can go home to the rest of the family it's meant that we can't go out and do any fishing or anything like that so I can't give you a fishing video but a couple of people have said that I've been talking to just do a daily vlog about your day in here maybe because people will find it interesting or it would just give them an insight into your life um, this is a tour of where i'm staying like i say i'm not, I'm not going to tag him in who it is but it's been great being able to use this place it's been fantastic this is it so far i've found that the, the biggest difficulty is actually is um, breaking up your day I've, uh, I've been getting up the larks as usual and uh, first thing I've been doing I've been having a protein shake and then I've been getting on a laptop and I've been um, taking care of comments things like that and then uh, doing a bit of exercise and then trying to find a different activity to do through the day each day so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a drink I'm going to watch the news then I'm going to get uh, my porridge and I'm going to sit down and do some comments. Throughout my life with the different jobs that I've had because I've worked shift work, because I've worked unusual hours, because I've done all types of things, I've quite often I've taken a protein shake just to supplement uh, irregular meal times and throughout the time I've tried different ones throughout my life I've tried different ones and I've I found some I like I found some I don't like this is in no way an endorsement of a specific brand but I've found that um, I used to drink just whey proteins because I thought that it was the best thing for me and then um, it was only recently that I found out actually that um, because whey is a byproduct of the dairy industry. I was actually slightly lactose intolerant. So the dairy in the way was reacting to my gut. Uh, since I've switched to a plant-based protein, I have found that not only do I um, do I enjoy it more, do I bloat less, but that um, yeah, I've actually seen better results from a plant-based protein. So this one is, I think this is uh, rice, pea and cranberry protein. If you want to know more about it, give me a message. <laughs> right, well that's enough of that. That was all positive news as usual. Funny enough actually, it's um it is positive to hear some of the things that they've got to say. One of the things that they were making a big deal of this morning was um, something called social prescribing, where if people are feeling, not necessarily that they're feeling poorly, that they're feeling uh, sick, but if, they're, if their mental health is, um, 
they're suffering, shall I say, that they can contact people. I think that's a good thing. I think people should be doing that anyway. I mean, it's um, it is sad that there are people out there who feel like they've got nobody to talk to. I hope that uh, I hope that people are finding our channel useful like that. Like I, ke I keep saying to people that we're talking to that um, if at the very least our videos are um, providing a slight distraction from the things that are going on at the moment, then they're worth making. And also, people a lot of people actually do do contact us and talk to us, which is great. It's, it's great that we can we can provide that that we can have that type of community. Exciting as my breakfast is this morning, we have porridge with raspberries and blueberries. Now all I did was I just, um, my wife and I organised an online shop when I was arriving home and uh, I picked it up in the van and then brought it here. So, so far I have, I still have four or five days worth of food in there. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cook up a big pan of food tonight. So we'll uh, let's get my breakfast down, mate, and we'll get on to some of these comments. I think this is the uh, the typical backdrop for anybody, any angler's laptop, isn't it? I've just picked up a couple of hundred photos that I enjoy that are on my uh, my rolling background. There's my PB Pike, if anybody's interested. And there is my breakfast that was actually that was a double figure bass caught on a, a wreck off Portsmouth actually we're closer to the French coast than we were to the British coast and a Pollock here's a comment a specific one I'll give mention to because it's we get a lot of comments I try to get to most of them this one was a very nice one and it is from Rosemary Watson I don't know where Rosemary's from I'm assuming it's um, probably over in the States. This is a very wholesome channel. I look for channels that are safe for me, my family and my granddaughter. And I find this a most enjoyable and relaxing channel. And I love how he treats his family and son. I highly recommend and I will share. Well, thank you very much, Rosemary. Rosemary Watson. Um, I love that you enjoy the channel. I, will, I love that you find it, um, find it good for the whole family because well it, it features my whole family um, we're simply sharing what we uh, what we love doing and what we know about about the natural world um, yeah thank you for getting in touch I'll write you a message now not all of them are good <laughs> you do get a couple of plonkers like this one here um, I'm the two king three let's dethrone Tom Tim Tyler Todd Tem I don't know what language you're speaking, mate, but I don't get it. Joshua Strange. Don't know why I'm up at this time, but I enjoyed watching this. All right, mate. Uh, Chris Davies. This was on the dogfish catch and cook. I could make a fortune in Swansea selling dogfish fillets. <laughs> it's all I catch down my way. Yeah, I can understand that. See if we can pick out another one. Um. Matthew Wilson, another one on the dogfish video. Uh, I don't really enjoy fish other than usual cod or pollock, as the stronger taste can put me off. Um, it's a bit difficult to read. Um, as the stronger taste can be a put, put me off a bit like sea bass. I didn't find sea bass too strong tasting, but okay. Um, I don't like that at all. How does this compare in ways of taste and strength, if that makes sense? Um, if you're listening to this, um, the texture's different. It's not a flaky white fish like cod or pollock. It's more of a meaty, like like prawn almost. And as for the taste, if you don't like strong tasting fish, uh, that's fine. Just you can put it in curry. You can put it in like we did there. You could put it in a stir fry. Or if you're going to uh, egg and breadcrumb, then shallow fry. Why don't you put some paprika or something like that or some some chilli in with the breadcrumbs I'll, I'll write you a message but Matthew Wilson that's for you let's get on to these this is actually harder than I thought it was going to be days like when I'm out on the shore I'm out on the boat I've got something to talk about 
I've only just realised how boring my day actually is when I'm here on lockdown. I've, uh, I'm just going to sit down and have a bite to eat. I thought I'd just talk to you for a couple of seconds. I've um, got my hair is that long. I've had to I've had to slick it back. I've been like seven weeks now without an haircut. Can't wait to get home so I can get my haircut. And um, what I did was when I first got here, I wrote a list of jobs that I wanted to do, and I've just assigned myself one every day. I clean one room every day and today because it's such a lovely day i've just put all my washing out to dry as soon as i've had a bite to eat i'm just having some just having some wraps i've got some wafer thin ham some lettuce some bell pepper and i'm just using a bit of chili mayo I knock some wraps out and then i've got a couple of reels that i'm going to service i am going to do a real servicing video but it's not going to be on this channel it's going to be on the fish locker workshop channel so if you're interested in seeing those have a look on there anyway i'm gonna get stuck in and then we'll see where we are well we're well into the afternoon of my very exciting day <laughs> i've uh, i've finished doing my real servicing video that'll be up on the other channel yes i'm just enjoying the last of the light of the afternoon this um i've been thinking an awful lot lately i mean obviously i imagine that a lot of people are about the current situation and about um, about what your priorities are I just um, I'd like to say thank you to everyone that's doing their part I mean the, the NHS workers the emergency services the frontline workers are doing an incredible job I truly hope that they are um, not so much rewarded but recognized after this I hope that it's created a shift in your mindset of what's important There are an awful lot of people on the channel that have been with us from the very start. I mean, you have, you have seen our children grow over the past couple of years, from the first videos up until the recent ones. You're um, almost invested in our lives because we share so much with you. A lot of you did not know about um, the issues that we've had with our son. Uh, this might be the first that you've been hearing about it. Um, yeah four years ago he was diagnosed with ALL which is an acute a lymphoblastic lymphoma it's a, a type of leukemia so we have had to live the past four lives for we have had to live the past four years of our lives pretty much like this lockdown we couldn't socialize with people we couldn't go to public places we had to protect him because he had a reduced immune system so this hasn't been too much of a a break from our normal life but it's um, it's definitely <laughs> it's definitely affected a lot of other people all the birds are just coming into roasting the trees at the back of us here I think I'll do one last clean down and then I will then um, I will show you what I'm gonna make for me tea I am the first to admit that I have been well and truly spoiled over the probably the past nearly 10 years my wife is a phenomenal cook i can cook no he can't i'm sorry we've had to interrupt here because who does all the cooking at home you what happens when dad cooks burns it. he burns it this is john's version of a chili please don't take offense or anything Maybe next week I'll do a proper one, but be kind, please, <laughs> and enjoy the rest of the video. She is just better. <laughs> uh, this is a recipe of something that I used to make when I was when I was single, when I was back in the forces. Um, I don't mind eating the same thing for a couple of days in a row. So quite often I would make a big pan of food and then I would just put it in the fridge and I would eat it a cup like dinner and tea for two days or my evening meal for three days in a row it is the simplest recipe imaginable <laughs> someone with zero culinary experience could do this which is why it was good for me all i'm going to use is i'm just going to use um, two lots of 500 grams of british beef lean mince a pepper an onion chopped tomatoes some beans two oxo cubes and I'm cheating a bit because I've got some herbs. All I'm going to do is 
I'll dice my onion and I'll add my onion and my beef to the pan, brown it all off, then I'm going to add the chopped tomatoes and the beans, let it stew for a bit, add the oxo cubes, if it needs to I'll add a little tiny bit of water to it, then add the herbs and add the pepper last, and then let it all simmer down, and there you go, and we'll just get it done. Right, well I've started the mince off browning, I'm just going to put an onion in there. I like, um, I don't mind onion, but I don't like big chunks of it. So I cut mine up into like maybe one centimetre squares. Get rid of that. So the pieces of onion, you can see, are about that big. There you've got the mincing onions, nicely browned off, and all you do is you just take your chopped tomatoes straight in. And tip your tin of baked beans straight in as well. If you don't like baked beans, you just use more chopped tomatoes. A little bit of pepper. Give that a little bit more pepper and a little stuck in there. And a little dash of salt. And then all we'll do is give it all a stir up and let it stew. And we'll add it with oxo cubes. Crushing a couple of oxos. I've found the easiest way with these oxos, I don't know how you do it. If you crush it when it's inside the tin foil and just tear off the bottom corner, you can just pour it and you don't end up with loads all over your hands. And all that needs now, we'll give it just a little tiny bit more water and let it simmer for a couple of minutes. There we go, that's simmered down nicely in there now. And all I've got there is just some long grain rice. I I hope this has been <laughs> I hope this has at least shown you. That it's not all fun and games that it's not all rock and roll this is about as interesting as things are for us right now um i thought i would share it with you just in case you know maybe give you a, a little bit of an insight as to what what goes on day to day i uh, i hope all of you are well i hope that you stay well have a nice day and we will see you later